A TV show is being launched that purports to be the conservative daily show. Now hold on to your boots, okay? You've probably heard of this before. Uh, let's see, there was the half hour news hour. There's a uh, red eye with Greg Gutfeld, hilarious guy on Fox News. Um, you hear about this every once in a while. Now every, everybody wants to be Jon Stewart, and so I don't fault the right for wanting to have an equivalent to him, an equivalent to John Oliver, Stephen Colbert. It's not gonna happen. First, the details. The show is gonna be called The Flip Side. It's gonna be hosted by Michael Loftus. Uh, it's being produced by Telco Productions, and it's going to be a half-hour weekly uh, show, at least in the beginning. I'm sure that they hope it can become a daily thing. And it's going to have sort of an interview focus. And uh, they're saying that they're going to be uh, anti-politically correct, and they're going to poke fun at the powers that be. Now look, nothing against Michael Loftus. Uh, his website says that he's one of the most in-demand comedians in the country. Uh, did a bit of research. He unfortunately doesn't have a Wikipedia page, which makes it hard to believe what he's saying on his website. Um, sure, he's a nice guy. Love that he's trying to do this. Everybody should try to bring a little humor to the world, whether you're a conservative or a liberal. But the show is gonna fail. It is obviously going to fail for the same reasons that past shows of this type have failed. It's because conservatives aren't funny. And by that, I don't mean that no conservative can be funny. I just mean that he can't be funny because he's a conservative. He can't be funny by being conservative because conservatism is not funny. Being conservative isn't funny. Being conservative is not about humor. It's about fear and suspicion and paranoia and intolerance and being worried about losing jobs to one minority group and votes to another minority group and oh shit, there are the homosexuals and now Muslims are coming in to take over our laws and what are you kids doing? Why are you kissing each other in public? It's about fear. It's about worry. It's about treating yourself as a victim when you are a part, every characteristic you have demographically is a part of that, the vast majority, okay? An old white Christian person who feels like the entire country is just coming after them in every possible way. That's what being a conservative is about. It doesn't mean that every conservative is like that, but if you're ideologically conservative enough to star in a show like this, you better believe he's gonna have a lot of those views. And the problem with a conservative daily show that makes it impossible to be like the real daily show is that you can say you're gonna poke fun at the powers that be, and it might even be true in the beginning because the powers that be be Obama. But eventually, if it becomes Ted Cruz or Rubio or Jeb Bush or whoever, you're not gonna do it anymore because the right does not attack the right. Certainly not if it hurts the right nationally as it would if you were to attack the president. Daily Show goes after Obama all the time. Stephen Colbert, that's the whole thing his show does, despite the fact that he's actually liberal. It's that they attack everyone. They point out the hypocrisy in the system, regardless of who is demonstrating it. Okay, if there's something wrong in the system, they want to expose it. And it doesn't matter if the target is liberal or conservative. They have their bias, perhaps, but that's not how they run the show. That is how this show is going to be run. They're not gonna be mocking the right. They can't mock the right. They don't have any, they can't tolerate cognitive dissonance. They don't allow for ambiguity or shades of gray, okay? They can't say anything that might make them question their political ideology in a way that we love on the left to joke about. And that's why the show will fail.